My name is Zach and I'm going to be showing you how to use GitHub and just some general Git basics today. So this is assuming you have a GitHub account and have Git installed in Terminal. If you don't, you can just do those really briefly online and then come back and start the tutorial. Alright, so let's make a simple tutorial now. We'll call it, uh, let's see what I named my folder. We'll call it Git Practice. So Git Practice. Description is just practicing with GitHub make this public and we don't want to initialize with anything so let's just create our empty repository okay so after we create just a basic repository we give it a name we set its permissions we're gonna wait for github to load and as we're doing that let's start working towards our first commit so we'll see here no issues no pull requests no code basically just an empty slate at the moment okay so let's go back to terminal so Assume we're starting from the um, little tilde, which means our home. Let's navigate now to where we're going to have our code. So for me, I have my code on desktop. So we're going to do cd, which is change directory. Change directory to, oh my goodness. It helps if you can spell. Um, so we're going to change directory to our desktop, and then we're going to change directory one more time to git practice, which is the name of my directory that I'm trying to commit. Okay, so now here we are. Now the issue right now is that we don't have git set up, which git is just a software that helps you track your code. So let's just do git init, simple command, initialized empty git repository here. Excellent. So now we're going to copy this link. It says quick setup if you've done this kind of thing before, which we have. So first let's, I like to do it first. We're just gonna git remote add origin. And what this is saying is we have a remote repository, remote meaning not local on our computer, that we can push our code to. We are going to um, create a readme. So we just touch readme. It's just a, that's the command line for creating a simple readme. It's going to be empty right now, just an empty text file. And we're going to start adding our files. So there are two ways to add files. One is just to add, well, there are many ways using different um, tags at the end. But let's just do a basic git add and let's add our Python file. So the name of the file is basic script.py. So we're going to do git add basic script.py. There we go. Now, if we check the status, meaning what files are being staged right now, we have boom, basic script.py, and we have these files being untracked. Okay. So let's let's say we have a lot of files in here, and we just don't want to go through manually and add them one by one. We can do two things. We can do git add all files with the dot text extension which is nice if you want to add one specific file type or you can do git add all which adds all the files there are many different ways to do this just for me I like to do git add all and now we check the git status git add all just kind of if you have a bunch of different file formats and you don't want to do the end then that makes it a little bit easier so now all our files are in what's called staging mode so there are three kind of different places the files can be they can just be on our computer they could be set up for staging which means that they're ready to be committed and then they can be committed which is just when they're sent to the actual git repository so right now we have our files added and we want to commit so we're going to do git commit negative m this negative m tab means we're providing a message for our commit so let's see what happens if we don't provide that tag it's going to take us into this uh, annoying text editor and we'll have to add our commit here which i personally don't, don't like doing and neither do many people so we're just going to do git commit negative m with initialize repository oh my goodness the spelling is taking a hit today okay so we've created these four files we had nothing but there before now we have four and then we're gonna do the final step is to push to the repository so we're gonna do git push and we don't really need to put since there's only one branch we can just put git push oh sorry git push or master might be enter in our username Volume. Enter your password, and you're going to be pushing to the repository. Looks like it was successful, so let's check our repository. Waiting for it to load. And there we go. We have one branch. We have all of our files. If we want to open them up, ah, uh, beautiful. Just the word hello. Very, very useful file. That was just kind of a basic intro, though, to about how to initialize your repositories and get started with Git. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comments below.